Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm returning to a job today that I actually done my first video, which was wiring up the shed, the armor cable, all the way down the outside the house. So a few people asked me, you know, in the comment section, oh, why'd you fit a four-way board? There was always, you know, things put in place so other things would be tapped off. So some of the house has just been put in. Uh, we're just running a two, five, three cord cable across in the side. It's not going off a, a fuse board, so it's going to be a fuse switch. So sockets will come in straight around, and then I'll do a fuse switch bit for the lighting as well. There's two outside lights going on each side, center light. It's going in metal clad and some flexi conduit, like we did literally next door. Um, what else is there? So, yeah, that's about it, really. I'm going to drag everything out, mark up levels and positions. There's just going to be two double sockets in each corner, light switch on this return, two gang light switch, one for the center light, one for the outside lights. IP rated socket is going up on the outside here just for some fairy lights across the fence. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll um I'll get all my stuff set out and pulled out and then I'll I'll go from there. Right, I just stop got the kit out of the van and went on. Um this is one of the things I always tell customers to do when they order stuff online. Uh customers had all the materials for this, like light fins and whatnot, for about three weeks. And just come to open it. And uh, the front glass is smashed. I mean I can fit this on, I just won't wire it in and hopefully they can just order a new piece of front glass to slide into it but it always helps just if you get something online, unbox it straight away, double check and obviously if it's not broken, fine, if it is broken you've got time to send it back before you know contractors come in so uh, food, food for thought, that's what I'm doing first, I mean this is what they're meant to look like just sort of getting positions of things, so we're having one light here, one light on the side so my cable entry point is there so I sort of roughly want to do the top of it on that joint there so that'll sit quite nicely so I'll pencil mark that out drill through same thing for that side and then that'll give me my mark I'm gonna put one of these where are they Bear with me a second the new little whiskey boxes that I bought so what are they gonna do they're gonna sit on the inside they drill through the back here so on the inside and then that'll give me my chance to gland into uh, with my flexi conduit with these little um clip on threaded uh, Grommets? No, grommets. Connectors. don't know. Have a go at me, it's fine. Uh, so they're going on the inside. Uh, I'm going to just drill the, uh, the arm at this one. This is going to just drill straight through on the angle and then just gland into the metal uh, fuse switch spur on the inside. I'll just put a bit of silicon around it afterwards. Um, same thing for the IP rated socket as well. I'm going to put this on the inside, gland it in the bottom, drill straight through to the socket. So got a nice, uh, nice connection. So I'm just going to get stuff mapped out and sort of pencil mark stuff out and I'll, uh, I'll catch up in a second. Right, I've got a few things screwed on. Oh, no, it's there. A few spur up there. Drilled my holes out over there. Light switches on. So I'm doing now. Sock it on, leveled it out. This is really professional of me, but the screws I've got, I've only got, these are my smallest ones. I've just run out. And this is slightly too long for this wood, so washers to the rescue. So if you just stick a washer in there, it won't go through, so. Whoops, the man. Um, well, someone's already done a nice screw through here, so whatever that is, it's nice. Um, put these on. My uh, my plan with the flexi ducting is, I think, ish. A few spurs there. It's coming down. I mean, I put it a bit too high, but I'll put it there just so it's a bit more accessible in case she puts a table here. That's coming, going straight up to the um, what will be a small whisker box that'll go through to the IP, and then there'll be another. Flexi conduit down, and then I'm going to put my clips on this rail at the bottom. Down, loop up, loop down, down, just to another socket over there. And that's about it, really. Lighting wise, I will sort that when I come to it. Oh, just, sorry, the light's crapping here. Um, yeah, I don't quite know what I'm doing with that, and I don't quite know how I'm going to fix the ducting to the ceiling light up there yet, because it's sort of like a chandelier type of thingy, like a drop light. So We'll just have to do what looks best, really, whether or not I loop the duct in. So it's the light thing in the middle. I loop the duct in round, put it into a whisker box at the back, and then do a small stuffing gland with a bit of black flex and stuffed in the uh, in the gap of the wood, maybe. I don't know. We'll sort it out when we get there. Another quick one. Sorry. Just, a, just open these up. Bloody way it goes in there. The old three way two two ones. Nice. Uh well thing is I bought I, I bought these from CF live um a 
couple of weeks, a month ago, really. And I bought one of the massive Wago boxes as well, which you've seen in the other videos. Um, and that is actually running a bit low now. Only of the the smaller ones, the uh, the one for, well, the one mil to the two five. I've only used, I think, one on a six mil cable. On, I think that's it. So I think I need to get some refill packs soon. But yeah, so I just thought it was pretty pretty doody. Right, clips are in now. Whisker up top, clips down across the bottom, and I've never really done it to there because I've got to move the rest of that stuff yet. So, they're neat enough, I'm happy. So, what problem I had before, because my first video was the first time I ever used the Flexi Conjure, or people call it different names. I really struggled trying to pull Twin and Earth through it, uh, push it through to start with, didn't work, got caught, swore at it a lot. And then I tried a rod, so I stuck a rod through it. You know, I, I, I clipped it all to the wall to start with and put it all back off because I just physically couldn't put stuff around. So my, my, what I tried was pulled it off, put a rod through, take the rod on to cable, pull that through, and that seemed to work. But now I own this, uh, the Cable Tongue by Super Rod. I used it, I put it on my Instagram the other day, I used it the other day in a cavity wall, spot on. Cannot fault it. Got little holes, hang on. Little holes in the end. I mean, I re I've only used it for one mil so far. And normally I just push that straight through, bend it over, pull straight up. No tape either, because I'm sick to death when I tape rods up. I always leave up loads of tape on the rod. And after about six months, you find the rod so thick it won't actually go through a hole. So I spent about 20 minutes cutting it all off the other day. So I've run my length of flexi ducting out, some 2.5. So I know roughly the distance that I want to run. So I'll feed as much as this through. Well, I'll cut that ish to size now. I'm just going to sort of place it in position roughly, snip off with some conjure cutters, uh, and then feed this through. I think I'll have to tape on the, the 2 5 because it won't go through that hole. But tape that on the end and see if it'll pull through. So uh, I'll get it measured out and I'll, uh, and I'll video myself trying to pull it through. Come on. I'm gonna get my rods. Try again. Ooh. And we're through. <laughs> that was fun. Just to do it with 16 other ones now. If you know a better way to do it, please let me know below because that's not fun. I mean, some people will obviously run it in single core cables, which probably wouldn't be any easier because trying to push them, they just bend. But yeah, let me know below. So that's through. Yeah, a bit more cable through. So it's simple as that goes around there. Oh, not like that. Sure, you get it in the fucking dickheads. Right, that snaps on. Now that's literally your joint. Pop that through. Literally, I'm just gonna go along snapping that all in across, bring it up, up to the top of the whisker, measure out. I've I've left a couple of inches I think spare, hopefully, because I'm terrible at cutting long lens off and wasting it. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll clip that in and I'll show you how much uh, wastage I've got. That's not too bad, I'm happy with it. So I'll put my, uh, I'll screw my gland in there and just sort of get a measurement, cut that, push that in, clip that. That's gonna push through into the outside socket. That, this will be siliconed up afterwards. I've made a bit of a shit job of that, but hey, that's what you try and happens when you cut it with a spade bit instead of a proper hole saw. Yeah, push that through and then, 
I'll do the same thing here. That'll be your feed in. First point into there, second point, third point. Easy peasy. Right, I'll get that cut off and then I'll, uh, I'll drop the one down to the switch. Okay, that's in. Feeds up. Uh, I had a bit of a brainwave with it because what I would have to do from the fuse spur, I'd have to take power to the switch from the switch and then go into an outside light and then that's coming back from there back to this one and also it's going to have another one coming from up to the ceiling light. As much as I absolutely love Flexi Dux and he looks wicked, I don't want shit loads of it running across so what I'm going to do is up, 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 across, land into there and just pass my feed straight through up and over to the switch. And when I pull that in, I'll then pull a length back as well from the switch back through the same ducting to run in here. That will just leave me from running, having to run another ducting from that whisker box all the way to that one. It'll save on flexi conduit because I mean, I bought, I think, they're Let me just have a look. I think they're 20 meter packs. No, 10 meter packs, sorry. Yeah, 10 meter pack, so. I might be running a bit short if I have to do the loop because obviously I've still got from one second to the other as well. So, you know, take your time, try and figure out in your head before you, you go in bull in a china shop because I've done that way too many times where, oh yeah, just go there, just go there, do, do, do it straight away and then go, shit. First of all, I've either not got enough stuff or second of all, it looks shit because there's just too much crap in the way. You know, with this way at least I can get away with just running one pipe over, pipe conjure, you know what I mean? One over, one over instead of back and forth. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Use my brain for once, it does help. Uh, when you're screwing the cleats into wood um, with an impact driver, don't keep your finger underneath it, because um, it really hurts. I, possibly one of the worst injuries I think anyone's ever had. You must have a blood blister. I mean, if you're squeamish, you shouldn't have looked at that, to be honest, but. Hey, uh, we live and learn, live and learn. Right, let's see what we're doing. Right. Clicks, uh, clicks across, saddles across, down. These are pretty handy actually because they actually have a joint strip so you can slide them together to get them nice and neat, close together. And obviously it'll just spread out a little bit as it goes through into here. Um, them across, them across. I've all spaced them out evenly. Uh, let's go in there, I've shown you that bit, done that bit. So my next thing now is I'm going to take a feed from here to here, so do a short bit of flexi conduit there, then can keep the continuous loop up and across through that, but then at the same time I'll pull a length of one mil off and run that through with a rod at the same time to come from the switch back to here and through the hole in the wall. <coughs> okay, right, what we have, that's in, that's down, that's looped under because there's only two ways in the top, push this one over to the left. So that leaves me the allowance to run the ceiling light up and across the beam here, make it nice and neat. Uh, just doing all these clips as level as I can. I pull when like, when you put this in, I just pull it tight as much as I can, just to try and so it doesn't sag. Because obviously, when it gets really hot in here, which it will do, uh, summer wise, you do. I mean, you get it with a normal conduit. So if you don't clip it enough, it just sags like hell and it looks crap. So <clears throat> I'm going to get the ceiling light out wherever that is, there, get that out, see what that's saying, I think it's, it's going to be a cup that sits straight to the ceiling, so I've got to do it, well, it needs to hang low enough to look nice, but I'm going to smash my, I mean I'm six foot three, so most light bins I smash my face on to be honest, it just goes with the job I suppose, but um, drop that down, sort of see what the cup's saying, if it's going here, the bracket will go across. I might do a little channel, do some black flex, do a black whisker box behind, bring my conduit round, gland it in that side, and then just poke it through and into the fitting. I think that's going to be the nicest finish because, or I mean, if it's allowance, just bring the ducting round and just end the ducting here, put a clip there, and then bring the cable, tuck it underneath into the fitting. So I might put a few washes just to bring it down a bit. But we'll see. Anyway, what I've decided to do in the end is that. <coughs> And curl around, go on that, and then that, because because of this joint here, it's going to leave a little bit of a gap, so we'll have to squeeze that in. It's a black fitting anyway, so it'll actually blend in quite nicely, to be fair. So, got that in, that's looped down to there, that's on. Put the front of the whisker boxes on, over there. 
Uh, next thing. What am I going to do next? Don't know. Um, last thing I need to run really is the socket to over here. So that last bit. So I might just push all of this into that corner. Oh no, no, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll land off the armoured first and I'll make that off so I don't have to disturb that. I can clean this area, brush it over and do that. So yeah, I've got my arm slice. I wire that into the fuse spur, get that connected up and terminated. Obviously I'm going to earth the back box as well. Um, yeah, I'll do that, push this across and then I can uh, work over here. Okay, <coughs> socket's in now. Run that along up to that one. Uh, I'll show you the terminations on the back. Um, I've earthed the back box purely the fact to stop people moaning at me on the, on here because you know when you put the pins through there's a metal clad socket with metal terminations here to here with the earth going in which has got the earth bar which is all connected to the termination pins once this is screwed back this is then earthed so and I get that you know if this was unscrewed and it was on somehow a way or another somehow someone will come up with a way that this could become alive so i've just put that in just to keep everyone quiet to be honest so hey -ho. so we're gonna get that one done over there uh i've had a sweep up so this one's gonna screw back i'm gonna do that one i'll move to the light switch get the ceiling light up get the two outside lights up and then i'll just finish off i didn't have any um blue tape on me for the armor cable for the neutral so i'm just gonna nip to the van after i've done this because it's a mile away, so I don't ages to walk. So, yep. All right. right, I'm gonna start doing the switches now. I put my torch on because I know the, the lights coming in the window and it's uh, knackering the camera up. Okay, so what we've got in is a feed in, two outside lights, and the center light. So what we normally do, this is to people that that you know don't really bring power to switches. So we've got our common. So what I'll do is bring on my live feed in here. I've done a link out, so that will go in with your live feed, so that then brings the power to this switch as well so then out the bottom of here will be my um, ceiling light and then I'll put my two live feed uh, two feeds brown feeds from the outside lights into this one so one switch will do both outside lights one switch will do the ceiling light and then I'll get a five-way connector where you go connect all the neutrals together yeah I've seen a few people saying it I wish where you go would make a four-way because it's very rarely I use a five most times a six so if we go then start bringing out a four way and a six way, that would be much easier for everyone instead of having to double up, but not double up as in twist cables or anything. I mean, as in having to put another connector in afterwards and link it through. But that's mainly only for Earths. But five way, where you go on the neutrals, the Earths will all go to the back of the plate, and then I'll do a fly lead like I did on the sockets across to the back of the uh, Patras. And uh, yeah, I get that wide, and I'll, uh, I'll show you afterwards. Right, I'm pretty much finished in here now. Um, Outside light, I'll stop the wobble of the camera. Outside light up, double socket. Um, another outside light, but this is the one that's uh, got a bit of uh, airflow around it. So I'm going to disconnect that from the switch. I just want to make sure everything works in a bit. And I'll just disconnect this uh, feed over from the switch so it's a bit safer. Uh, what have we got in here? So light fitting up into the height she wants it. Wonderful. Um, I still need to just go and get some sleeving for the for the neutral, so that's not on there. But that's in. That's clipped on. All round band on the armoured. Across, down, switching's done, and on. Across there, and obviously the sockets. So, but a bit of a tidy up. But next plan, I'm just gonna get that sleeving for the neutral, uh, and then I'm gonna start clipping this along, feed it down, and that's just gonna. Same thing that's done here. Just gonna drill a hole and then gland it straight into the, uh, the fuse board. Right, it's armoured time now. <coughs> drill that one out, clip it low level, like what I did further down. I'm um, just gonna do it to the uprights and a few in the gravel boards. Like I said before, people don't like doing it because like, it's not a permanent fixture. It is, in my eyes, it's concrete to the ground. You know, if you're gonna remove that, you're gonna see there's a cable tacked to it low level, so. Okay, uh, it's going through, it's drilled through the board there, so I'm going to grab my SDS out the, the van, drill a few, uh, measure out, drill a few holes. I'm going to need cleats, so I'm just going to all round band it, so do it that way. Clip now, I've just dug that little bit in because that bit's having gravel like this, all the way down. <coughs> so I put that down, 
Don't run you through in here. So that's come back through there and then through this bit. Right, I've done my dead test. I've just livened it up. I'm just done a ZE, so at 0.64 on the no trip setting. So your ZE, the furthest socket on that. So what we did originally, if you haven't watched the first video, uh, it was a 10 mil three cord run from the house. It's a PME system run to what is the garage, in, well, say garage, shed in front. Uh, it was a six way board on, I said four way, but it's not four way. Six way board on there, RCD protected. And then I've run two, uh, two mil three core across to here to a few switch spur to fuse the lights down to three amp. It's run off a 20 amp breaker in there, uh, run through. So through this point, 0 0.64 on the ZE. I'm gonna do that on the lighting, which should obviously be a little bit more because it's smaller cable. Um, so yeah, we have lights. It's quite nice actually. Quite happy with the finish. I think the uh, the black fittings inside and outside, along with the black you know, flex, black whisker boxes, look quite nice, quite happy with that and the switch in. You know, I've done tried to do it as neat as I can. You know, at the end of the day, it is just a summer house. It's not sat in your lounge, but there are your lights. So night time, that look, uh, that look really nice. Right, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Um, do a few more tests, speak to customer, obviously, send me a voice and whatnot. Um, there's a few little videos I'm doing. Obviously, I've got a testing video coming up, which is the rewire I've just done on the SPD board. Um, another thing, I wanna run through a few products that I bought recently. So obviously I've got the, the Weira Speedy screwdriver, the cable tongue, armored slice, uh, the day um, dust collector. So I'm gonna do a bit of a review on them and uh, point out a few things that I found using them for a couple of months. So um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.